Hello everyone, welcome back to Terraria. Solar Eclipse is happening. Oh my gosh, Mothron has arrived. What? Who are you? What right do you have? Oh gosh, all my NPCs are going to die. I'm going to die. Never mind the NPCs. I am getting my butt kicked right here. I was not prepared for this. A solar Eclipse, there's possessed stuff. What on earth? What on earth? Mothron is laying eggs. I don't understand. <laughs> Man, this is another, like, pirate invasion style event I am not prepared for. Absolutely not prepared. Although the vampire knives, really, really helpful right there. Because I just beat a moth. I just fought a giant moth. Well, I was looking for ways to earn some gold. I think this is probably going to be it, folks. There is a ton of stuff around here, and I haven't even bought myself the Witch Doctor wings. I literally just ended the last episode, and it said, Solar Eclipse! So I was like, okay, how about I start recording again? <laughs> <laughs> Needed to sink the episode like halfway through. Joseph was slain. Oh no, Joseph. Really? Really, Joseph? I was rooting for you, Joseph. I really was. Well, I don't even know what is going on right now. I have barely had time to revel in my victory from the last episode, having beaten Golem so successfully. But this Dr. Manfly? <laughs> what? Oh, this is too crazy right now. Too crazy. Just hurling everything everywhere. I need to get back to Pixel Co. and refresh my bewitchment so I can take on more of the twins. What is that? Is that the guy from Hellraiser? Is that Pinhead right there? <laughs> it looks like it is. Oh, my days. There's so much stuff going on. I heard a Medusa noise. I don't know if it's actually a Medusa, but if it is, I'm in trouble because I am in the air and taking full damage when you don't have the protection of your wings. It sucks. Oh, the vampire knives are keeping me alive here, though. Definitely a fan of those. What on earth are all these enemies? I can't even look at them because I'm too busy killing them. <laughs> There's creatures from the deep. There are zombies. There is swamp things. Possessed stuff. Reapers. The giant moth. <laughs> Mothra, done fighting Godzilla, has come after us. And killed Joseph, apparently, which is kind of a shame. <laughs> Wow, okay, we are going to be fighting this entire episode because it's it's daytime. This isn't a night event like a blood moon. This is an all-day thing. I guess it being a solar eclipse, that's kind of the point, right? Ah, uh, okay, I'm getting, getting close to death, needing to heal. That guy keeps laughing every time I hit him. That's a worry. <laughs> Don't want to deal with someone like that. They're psychopaths. I can't even see what half this stuff is. I had a tablet thing, and it was like, you've summoned the solar eclipse, and I was... I, I didn't even use the tablet. <laughs> like, the solar tablets that I was finding in the last episode at the temple, you can summon this event. But I didn't even do that. <laughs> it just turned up. Just turned up out of nowhere. Man, there are a couple of those pinhead guys. He's really coming at me. I think he's probably going to be firing, like, nails or something. Vampire knives are just the best weapon. Hands down the best weapon I've had so far. I'm not even set up for, like, throwing, but I think they do melee damage instead of throwing damage, which really works well. <sighs> what are you? What are you? Zombie pig man? I can't even tell what that says. <laughs> Everything's going too fast for me right now. Getting some bat wings. Picking up all kinds of stuff right here. And managing to stay on top of it, which is incredible. Like, <laughs> I think I've finally found a setup that works for me in Terraria, in, at least in hard mode. I'm kind of missing the ability to have boomerang stuff, but these vampire knives are kind of making up for that, let's be real. wonder if another moth is going to spawn at some point, because that thing came along right away. How are we doing for gold? we got 75 gold already. I really want to go and drop some of it off in my piggy bank just in case I die, but... Let's face it, if I die, I'm going to be very close to home. It's not going to be a problem getting my health back, getting my money back. You just don't want to be on the ground for this stuff. Because these things are all pretty much ground-based enemies. A couple of them have some kind of strong jumps, but a couple of them are shooting at me with lasers. What are you? I don't even know what that guy was. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely need to be in the air. They're not really touching me when I'm in the air. Oh, a little bit of breathing space. 
I can use that. Oh, yeah, another moth is here. Fantastic. Well, we managed to deal with the last one okay. We got the twins with us, and these vampire knives are really, really hurting stuff, so that's good. Need to get rid of those eggs, though, in case it spawns more of them. Can you imagine these things multiplying, taking over the entire map, pretty much? Yeah, get rid of those eggs. Don't want no eggs. No, thank you. Omelettes for me today. Got to break some eggs. Unpleasant Eye of Cthulhu. What was that? What did that say? Unpleasant Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, wow. It's a weapon? Really? Let's try that out. Oh, it's a yo-yo. Oh, my gosh. It's a yo-yo that is so much better than my current yo-yo. <laughs> well, I'm using that now. I have Cthulhu as a yo-yo weapon, plus the twins. I feel like I've got this full-on setup right here. Now that's cool. That's doing a ton of damage. Still not as good as the vampire knives, though. <laughs> Going back to the vampire knives. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do it fast. That's the important thing. But yeah, that yo-yo for taking on single enemies is going to be really good. Just for now, when I've got all this stuff at me, probably best to go with the vampire knives for spread, if nothing else. Well, I haven't died yet. I have not died yet. I'm doing really, really well. I wonder if there's a boss at the end of this or something. Like some kind of crazy event happens and there's a boss at the end of it. Kind of like the Flying Dutchman that happens in the pirate invasion. I don't know. I was definitely not expecting this. It came right out of nowhere. <laughs> Just like a blood moon, but in the middle of the day. Right, bit of a lull. Let's quickly head home. Don't want to get any of my NPCs in danger, but I do need to head up here. Oh, look, the stuff in Pixel Co. The stuff has invaded Skyforce Alpha. Skyforce Alpha, Sky Fortress Alpha. Look at the sun! It's all, like, hidden behind the, the clouds. Well, I guess it would be. It's Solar Eclipse, but that's, that's so neat. That looks really, really cool. I really wish I had my turtle armor prepared for this. But I've already got myself... I got a, another Yellets from the jungle in the last episode. Let's throw that in the melee weapons real quick, and let's grab some potions just in case we need them, because I could use some buffs right about now. Let's grab Iron Skin, let's grab Regen, let's grab Endurance. Uh, do we have any Danger Sense? Night Owl Potion is going to be helpful. Hunter Potion, that'll do as well. Okay, buff! Right, let's do this. Now I'm kitted out, now I'm prepared. Stay away from my NPCs as well, I don't want any of those guys dying on me right now. Yeah, check this out. I'm going through them right here. Can probably renew my twins as well, get some extra twins on the go. Get another set of them would be just right. Yes, there we go. Yeah, the power of rainbows compel you. See if we can sharpen these knives a little bit as well. Look at the buffs bar now. <laughs> I am buffed to high heaven right here. Dr. Manfly got nothing on me. Come at me, zombies. Dreaded creatures that haunt the night. That frog. <laughs> They're all going down. Nothing is safe from me. Well, folks, i got to say, I think we're handling it. I wonder if it lasts all night as well as all day. <laughs> because it's most of the way through the day already. We've got, like, five hours of in-game time left, which is probably only about five minutes. And we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well here. Nothing crazy has shown up, which is probably a good thing. You know what? I feel like we need to up the ante a little bit. <laughs> I feel like this isn't enough of a challenge right here. So I reckon we should summon the Eye of Cthulhu. <laughs> we can fight the Eye of Cthulhu with the Eye of Cthulhu. We've got three suspicious-looking eyes. Let's do this. <laughs> Why not? There's a vampire there. He's going down easy. Right, let's do it. Let's get up here into the arena. Let's summon the eye. Oh, wait, we can't, because it's not night time. <laughs> there was me thinking it was night time, because there's no sun in the sky. Of course, so the eclipse. Duh. The stars are out, though. That was kind of confusing me a little bit. But maybe we should summon the eye of Cthulhu as, like, a warm down from this. If it lasts all night, then it'll be super fun. But if it's just the daytime, then we'll fight the eye of Cthulhu a few more times just for a bit of a cool-off session. How about that? Definitely making ourselves a ton of gold right here. Eyesore. What is that guy from? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I don't know. Half of the stuff in this is like references to other games or movies or something. They've just thought, oh, that's cool. We'll put it in our game. 
which is a really neat way of doing things, I think. It's like the parody way of of creating games. Whoa, that guy gave us a proper leaping app. <laughs> Not getting any super awesome drops from any of this, though. I guess you'd just be able to farm it and farm it and farm it. I'm kind of wondering what else is out there that will give us some cool stuff at this point. Maybe you get occasional very rare drops from these things. I don't know. Yep, Mothrun's back. <laughs> Mothrun is back. I was wondering when we'd see her again. I assume it's a her because she's laying eggs. As anyone will know if they've had the, uh, the Ender Dragon debate from Minecraft. Only female things lay eggs. Unless they're seahorses. Is that seahorses? I think it's seahorses. But it's very rare anyway. Tasty Mothron wings. Oh, hello, we got some more wings. I wonder if they're any good. <laughs> I wonder if they're any good compared to the uh, Witch Doctor wings that I'm saving up for right now. I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I'll have to compare them once we're done with the solar eclipse. There's only a couple of hours of the day left. So it's uh, 5.20pm now. The day ends at like 7.30, I think. And that's when night time comes, so... We'll have to see how we work out with that. Man, I could not have done this if it wasn't for the vampire knives. They're too good. Bring Mothran up into the arena. Nice! Really, really good. Another Eye of Cthulhu. I think that's the awesome drop we get. I guess from beating Mothran we get the, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. And that's, that's a really good looking yo-yo from what I can see. You're going to have to... Give me pretty awesome weapons to stop me from using these vampire knives over and over again, though. What? Another Mothran? Really? Oh my goodness. They just keep coming. And that one is really trying to attack me as well. No egg laying from this one. Need to heal up real quick. But I think we're doing well. Need to close the map down real quick so I can see what I'm looking at here. Getting a nice amount of gold from this though. I'm kind of tempted to trigger this again just so I can farm some money. <laughs> like I said in the last episode, I kind of want to do that from combat rather than from just selling stuff. And this seems like a good way of doing it. We are counting down to the end of the day right now. Is the solar eclipse going to end at 7.30 or is it going to last all night as well? That's the question. <laughs> We've been definitely keeping them at bay this whole time. Haven't really been taken out by anything. Nothing has killed us. And it's 7.30 and the blood moon is rising. Wonderful. <laughs> Go from a solar eclipse straight into a blood moon. But I think... I think that's it for the Solar Eclipse enemies. Yeah, we're just tearing through all the rest of this stuff. Wow, that was awesome. That was a really cool event, and I actually managed to get by without dying. We lost Joseph, unfortunately, but we'll get another Clothier. I think he was the Clothier. <laughs> I feel really bad. I don't know who he was. <laughs> right, let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu a couple more times so we can wrap up the episode here. Let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu with the Eye of Cthulhu. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. He just goes down so easy now. I have a forceful Eye of Cthulhu, an unpleasant Eye of Cthulhu, and a regular Eye of Cthulhu. <laughs> and a couple more suspicious looking eyes to burn. Shame we can't get the, uh, get like more than one Eye of Cthulhu at once. I guess we could fight the twins, but I don't have all of the stuff prepared for those fights yet. I just noticed my green crystal has gone yellow. Is that because of the Blood Moon? I think it might be. This thing doesn't even get to attack us before we kill him. I mean, he is the first boss in the game, so that's kind of understandable. But, oh man, that was quite the adventure. Let's see how we can sell some of this stuff. We've got ourselves a platinum coin, which is awesome. We can throw that in the piggy bank. And a ton of gold left over. So we might even be able to buy some Clentaminate stuff and sort out the Crimson and the Hallow in the world. <laughs> the painter is really working overtime. Uh, let's see. 
gold coin going there. Yes, we have platinum. We have two platinum. So that means we can go to the Witch Doctor and buy the Jungle Wings and see if the Mothron Wings are as good or better. Who is this? Oh, that's the Cyborg. Uh, do you have anything else? You've got three different types of rockets. That's all good. Uh, right, let's go see the Witch Doctor. And there was something else we needed to buy that was one platinum. What was that? I forget. Oh, check it out. The mushroom biome goes purple because of the blood moon. Now that's cool. I think everything in the game just gets tinted like a slightly different shade because of the red. <laughs> it turns the blue stuff purple. It turns the green stuff a kind of brown. Hello there, Witch Doctor. Sell me some wings. Thank you very much. I'll take them. Just get regular kind of wings. They're not like... They don't add any buffs right away. But let's see how high we can fly with these things. Oh, there's a clown up there. Hello. <laughs> Didn't see him. Right, we're going to have to get away from the NPCs to test the flight because otherwise they are probably going to die. <laughs> the Blood Moon is not working out too well for them. But just look at this yo-yo. It's tearing through everything right now. That's awesome stuff. Right, okay. Let's, let's try these wings on for size. Let's see how we do with the leaf wings. Taking off our Spectre Wings. Flying up to... Wow, those are pretty good. Those are really, really good. And I'm just checking on the minimap to see we're kind of level with this black bar over here. Just a little bit underneath. Now let's try the Mothron Wings. <laughs> let's not take them off mid-air, shall we? Let's try the Mothron Wings, which do give us a little bit of a buff. They're hasty. They give us some movement speed buff. That's really cool. It's a really cool effect. It's about the same. I think, if anything, they're a little bit slower. They just feel like they don't get you around quite as fast as the jungle wings. <laughs> the 1100th zombie, guys. Look at that. That's how long I've been playing Terraria for. <laughs> Nearly 100 hours in this game now. But, oh man, I'm going to just deal with the rest of the Blood Moon off camera. You guys have seen this a bunch. But I think... KO Cannon? What is that? Hello? Shoots a boxing glove. <laughs> That's incredible. That sounds awesome. And what is this? Large death sickle? I'm getting so much cool... Whoa! All right. I'm getting a lot of cool stuff. Now, that is an awesome weapon. That's a really awesome weapon. Is that melee? That feels like... Oh, man. I don't know. That feels like it should be a magic weapon, but it's melee? That's super cool. That is super cool. <laughs> but right. That's going to be it for today's episode, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching Terraria. My name has been Pixorifs. Leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Look at the rainbow. <laughs> That's coloured slightly differently. And I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.